guys my name is Kishan and today we are going to look at constraints in Oracle SQL so before we start uh, going in detail about constraint we'll first look at what are constraints so constraints are basically rules and regulations that regulate the kind of data that is inserted into a table so how does constra constraint help us uh, the constraint help us basically in maintaining data integrity and accuracy what we mean by over here is uh, if you have proper constraints on your tables you will not end up having junk data in your tables it is like you taking care of what is inserted and what kind of data is updated in your table say suppose there's a column called as employee id and you don't want ever that column to have null value so you give the column as not null fine Similarly, you don't want data repetition you use primary key and unique key so this kind of you know validations that you put in on your table so that on on the longer run or in future you you never encounter any junk data um, that would be constraints so what happens is that constraint would help you to restrict any uh, any wrong kind of data being inserted or updated into a table if any query is fired any insert or update is fired you know which violates this check constraint the that action that insert or that uh, update is just aborted you know nothing happens that will just throw an error or error oracle will throw an error saying you know this particular constraint is being violated this is the action you should be taking and you know such kinds of things so you know what's going into your table and you you're sure about it so that's where how constraints help you they help you in maintaining the integrity and the accuracy of your data so what uh, basically an rdbs system would have not null check unique key primary key and foreign key constraints okay we'll look at all of these in detail so before I, I go ge get into constraints I'll just uh, show you about you know what are constraint and our constraint declaration so on the right hand side you can see this chart where I say constraints and there are two types column level and table level oracle terms column level as inline and table level as out of line so what this basically means is say this first example of this create table EMP what I've done is create table EMP employee ID number primary key over here I'm just giving primary key with the uh, column declaration so in this column declaration itself I have the constraint declaration so this kind of a declaration is known as a column level declaration or inline declaration whereas when you are declaring the variables outside or at the table level or not at the column level at the table level we call it you know out of line or table level declaration or constraint say suppose as here I've done I've just declared my all three columns and then I have kept the keyword constraint the constraint name I have given then the primary key and in bracket I give which column am I talking about so this way of declaring constraint at the table level uh, this is the table level declaration and the first example is the column level declaration now when you're working with table level declaration you can have multiple columns you can just point to multiple columns whereas in you know column level declaration when you say primary key you are just pointing to that particular column so it's kind of little bit restricted uh, a not null constraint will always be at the column level never at the table level otherwise all three constraints I just checked uh, foreign key unique key primary key can be done at both the column level and the table level okay so now we'll look, look at not null constraint what not null specifies is basically that the column cannot have null data if the if you try and insert null data it throws an exception an error and that uh, statement is not executed it is aborted and then it comes like users must provide some you know value for that column which is declared as not null which is being updated or inserted you can never have a null value so null is basically an absence of data uh, in oracle uh, null does not mean empty string null does not mean you know zero and null means the data is absent the data is unknown okay uh, so now one more thing about not null constraint is you cannot give a name to a not null constraint otherwise for all others you can give some name so this is not nameable and the other thing is just I mentioned is lo like uh, a call a not null constraint is all always at the column level never at the table level so whenever you write a column name at the end you just specify not null and the column becomes not null now comes the check constraint basically a check constraint we can specify wide range of rules uh, on a particular table or group uh, on a particular column or group of columns when we say about check constraint but uh, so it's like uh, we are giving a boolean expression for the check constraint if the insert or update that you are performing satisfies this boolean expression you know it is okay if it does not the entire statement is rolled back 
so say suppose in this case we say that employee ID should always be greater than 100 so if a record is being uh, if we try to insert a record with say employee ID 99 so that is a violation of check constraint and this statement over here will get rolled back simply and you cannot execute it so a check constraint are nameable and you can have a check constraint at both the column level or the table level whichever level you do it you have to write the column name also okay so this is check constraint you can have uh, you can use in keyword you can use this greater than less than equal to always some literal values it's like a bo boolean expression comparison so you will be using always the literal values you cannot use like system variables or user sessions or timestamp and all those kind of things because they are ever uh, always changing you cannot have a specific boolean that is true and false always coming for that uh, uh, scenario i'll just show a small ex example on this first i'll do is a column level check constraint with not null okay and then we'll do a table level so column level first so what i will do it i'll create a table with my create table table statement i'll give the table name is emp i'll take the first column to be like employee id which will be number data type and it is not null so when i specify not null over here i make sure that no null data is inserted okay um, then the second i take is employee name let me take where care 230 as the size and the third one let me take gender now gender will be character data type with one uh, size and what i'll do is i'll give a check constraint i'll make sure that gender is always in either mel male or female right m or f i just mentioned m here and then f i close the braces and this is the table creation done i'll insert some record into the table it will be like insert into emp values over here i'll mention employee id as say 100 see i'm mentioning an employee id as it's a not null column giving some value over here is important for this uh, column the second is employee name i can't give null over here you know it's not a not null constraint null will be accepted um, and the third one is gender now if i give gender as m it is all okay what happened is i have just given here ff both by mistake i'll just give m here so i need to drop this table drop table emp and i'll just create it again i'm using control enter to execute it yeah i think it's fine now when i execute it it says one row inserted i'll just do a select on this table to show the kind of data over here select star from emp as you can see you have some record like 100 employee name null because i gave null over here and m gender as m now what happens if i try and enter null as employee id as you can see i have given the employee id column as not null what happens if i do you know explicitly try and give null if i try and do something like that it says cannot insert null into schema name dot table name dot column name so employee id is not null you cannot insert null into that okay so that is the error that you get fine so let me just give 101 here and i'll give and i'll give uh, this uh, what we say employee name is say just as raj and if i give gender as say s i not it if it if, if i try and violate this check constraint what it says is check constraint hr dot sys underscore c and this one so it is like if i, I because i have not given any name to this check constraint oracle database has implicitly given some name such as sys underscore c for constraint and then the number it says this is violated the value being inserted do not satisfy the name check so you cannot insert s over here insert either m or f or else i'll give you this check constraint violation error so this is what this column declaration um, column level declaration for a constraint and violation of it now i'll just show you how you can do it for the table level just a comma over here we give constraint data type then give the constraint name I'll give constraint name like employee check constraint right and I'll just drop this table and recreate it just created it now I'll just in insert some value now I'll insert so uh, the first record is inserted as all the constraints are you know are correct 
the second one will fail because s is not allowed i can insert only m or f now this time when i execute it now you can see over here it says check constraint the check constraint name violated so it is always good to give a name so that by just reading the statement you can come to know which constraint is violated say if your table has multiple constraints if it says something like how it showed previously sys underscore zero it is confusing to understand always give a name a readable name like employees tables check constraint so that one got violated over here it is saying the values being inserted do not satisfy the name check if you check what is in this table is like your previous record is there nothing else so as I said whenever check constraint uh, whenever any of the constraint is violated your action is aborted your insert or update is aborted it does not successfully go through but nothing happens to your previous uh, data you know that they remain as it is just executed ag again as you can see the data is there two times hundred hundred employee name nil if I so this is what basically constraints are about you know they regulate the kind of data that is being inserted into a table they make sure that there is no junk data 